Hello everyone, welcome back to Warren's Everyday English. For today's lesson, we're going to talk about something that is very important to me. We're going to talk about eating and the expressions we specifically use when we go to a restaurant. So there's a lot of unique expressions we use when we go to a restaurant or when it comes to food in general. And it's important to know these expressions so that you can properly express yourself when it comes to your food. After all, nothing is worse than having a not so great meal because you didn't order your food properly. So let's begin, shall we? So this is a common expression we use when we want to convey that we're hungry and you are recommending that we should go eat. Let's get something to eat. So there's a lot of variations to this expression and there are many other similar expressions we can use to convey this message. You can also say, for example, let's grab something to eat or want to get something to eat? So here are some examples using these expressions. It's almost 1 p.m. Let's get something to eat. I'm really hungry. Let's grab something to eat. Aren't you hungry? Want to get something to eat? What are you in the mood for? So a common response you say when someone tells you that they want to go eat is, what are you in the mood for? So you're asking them what do they feel like eating or what type of food would they like? There are other similar expressions we can use to ask someone what type of food they feel like eating. For instance, what do you feel like having? Or what or where do you want to eat? So here's some examples using these expressions. Hey, want to grab lunch? Sure. What are you in the mood for? Hey, want to go eat lunch? Sure. What do you feel like having? Hey, want to go eat? Sure. Where do you want to eat? I have a craving for. So when someone asks you what you feel like eating, you may have a certain restaurant or type of food that you really feel like eating. So to convey this expression, you can say, I have a craving for. Other similar expressions you can use to convey a desire to eat a particular type of food or restaurant are, for example, I feel like having, or I'm in the mood for. So here are some examples using these expressions. I have a craving for pizza. I heard there's a really good brick oven pizza near our office. Hey, what do you want to eat for lunch? Hmm, I feel like having McDonald's. What do you want to eat? I'm in the mood for some sushi. Can I get or can I have extra? So you finally made it to the restaurant and you're ordering your food. Sometimes you're extra hungry or sometimes you feel like having more of a certain ingredient. For example, you would like more chicken in your salad. So you would say to the worker, can I get extra? Just a note though, in a lot of restaurants, you may have to pay an additional charge for extra ingredients. So let's go over some examples using this expression. Can I get extra chicken in my salad? Can I have extra sour cream in my burrito? Can I substitute A with B? Right, so you're ordering food at the restaurant and say there's a certain food that comes with your meal, french fries for example, that you don't want to eat because maybe you're concerned about your health or because you don't really like french fries. You can ask the worker, can I substitute A with B? So as an example, can I substitute french fries with a small salad? And you know, just another note, some restaurants may allow you to swap out a certain food in your meal with another similarly priced or like item. However, other places may charge you extra. So another way to say this is, is it possible to have blank instead of blank? So let's go over some examples. Can I substitute french fries with a baked potato? Is it possible to have cheddar cheese instead of American cheese on my hamburger? Light or no blank, please. So a lot of times when you're ordering food, you can adjust certain things on your meal. So for instance, if you don't like your food to be salty, or if you don't like that your sandwich has so much sauce on it, you can adjust the seasoning or sauce to your liking. So for instance, if you want just a little bit of salt on your french fries, you can ask, light salt please. Or if you do not want any salt on it, you can ask, no salt please. So here are some examples. No salt on the cheeseburger, please. Light sauce on the sandwich, please. Can I get this wrapped up? So you finished eating at a restaurant and you have some leftover food that you couldn't finish because you're full. You can ask the waiter, can I get this wrapped up? To let them know that you would like to take the leftover food home. So here are some additional examples. Can I get this steak wrapped up? Can I get this pasta and quesadilla wrapped up? 
can you put blank on this card and blank on that card? So blank meaning the amount. So this is a situation that happens a lot when you're out with friends or coworkers at a restaurant when the bill or check comes. Everyone has a credit card and you're all trying to figure out how much to pay. So there's a common expression people use, which is, can you split the check? However, the problem with this expression is that the waiter will not be easily able to know how to split the bill, right? So depending on when your friends or coworkers ordered, it's not easy to split the bill. Also, it's a hassle for the waiter to go back and now print out three separate checks for you and your two friends. So to make things easier, in this scenario, you can use the following expression. Can you put A on this card and B on that card as you hand the credit card to the waiter and point out the amount with the corresponding credit card? So I'll explain this a little bit more in detail. So say for example, the bill came out to $85 amongst three people. You calculate how much each person has to pay and you can tell the waiter as you hand them three credit cards, can you put $20 on this card, $30 on this card, and $35 on this card? You can also say instead of saying $20, you can just say 20, 30, 40. So can you put 20 on this card, 30 on this card, and 35 on this card? So once again, the key expressions are, can you put blank, meaning the amount, on this card, and blank, meaning the other amount, on that card? So we covered a lot of important expressions we use when it comes to food and restaurants. Since food is so important, we'll continue learning food and restaurant related expressions in another video. So the next time you're going to a restaurant or at a restaurant, please use these expressions. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone.